a nice little delivery that you might want to have a look at me unboxing. So I wanted a particular pigment from Doll Beauty and I've been trying to get hold of it for so long and it always said out of stock on the website. I went on there the other day and it works out that I can buy this whole eyeshadow palette, which I didn't necessarily want, but I kind of, well, I didn't want it, but of course I do want it. So I had to buy that and then I get this pigment in with the palette as well so spent loads more money but got what I wanted so winner so I'm going to show you now what I ordered I've not looked at this yet so I'm going to unbox it and let's have a look so can we just appreciate how cute the doll beauty packaging is uh, they've got their own branded tissue paper so I've wanted my own branded tissue paper for ages I've just not got around to doing it so I think the Lux blender needs some of this tissue paper um cute little card oh so these are art and they always do this they always put um love hearts which is really cute in with the packaging so i'll get those out and do some swatches in a little bit um these are the glosses that i ordered they we have if you can see that gobby blogged and insta famous so I'll do some swatches on those in a second. And then we have the palette here. So I'm gonna have to put you down while I undo this, one sec. Don't they just have the cutest packaging? So it's like a tin in a heart shape. Oh, it looks nice. Okay, so it's not the most practical of packaging to have out on the makeup station because the lid doesn't fully come off so it makes it really big it's going to take up a lot of space imagine getting that out at a wedding like when you've got minimal space anyway anyway the is that got yeah that's got a film on it the colors look really nice so we'll have to give those a try see how they go but really the only thing that i ordered it for was this humbug and it's quite small as well it's not full size or anything so this better be good let's try it can you imagine after all that like i spent i don't know like 80 or 90 pound from just initially wanting that pigment because i just ended up buying everything but can you imagine if it's not even that good and it's not worth it uh oh no it looks nice looks nice so there, but then I do wonder whether it's that different to things that I have already. I don't know, why did I want that so bad? I mean, it is really nice. Let's have a look at the other one. I mean, that one's nice. I've got probably a lot like that. That's fine. Well, I'll give this a try and I will probably report back when I've used it on clients. Here's swatches of the glosses. So here we have Insta Famous on the left, then we have Gobby in the middle and Blogged on the right. So I do really like Blogged because it's a little bit different. It's got more of like a shimmery to it. If you can see that, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure on the packaging. I'm gonna have to see how they work. Um, the applicator is really nice, but it doesn't seem to get much product onto the applicator. And then it feels like there isn't a m much in there with like the the applicator in there as well but i will have to see how they go but i like the swatches they look nice another day another delivery i've just had my little um mac order delivered here so i'm just going to show you through some of the bits that we've got it's just a little stock up it's only lip products it's just a few lipsticks and lip liners that i've got here let's start with the lip liners we have here is a whirl this is one of our ultimate favourites. We use this on loads of clients. So a lot of our clients love a nude lip. Let me show you if you can even see that there. It's a little bit difficult. So this is just going to go into our cupboard as a backup. Obviously, we have three artists. So um, we have to have kind of one each at all times and then at least one each as backup in the cupboard as well. So I know that I showed you through the cupboard um, in, an, in another video um previously so you've kind of seen where our backups go and everything we've also got saw so i'm going to put that next to it so you'll see that this is more of a 
um, kind of a, a blush kind of it's the it's this one the lower one it's got more color to it and it's more of a rosy kind of darker blush we've also got a spice spice is very popular so a lot of you would have heard of mac velvet teddy lipstick that's a matte lipstick from mac that's a really popular nude it's kind of one of those things where in the studio if i'm asking someone what sort of nude they like i say to them so a velvet teddy sort of nude or lighter than a velvet teddy or darker than a velvet teddy and kind of people know most people will be able to gauge what you mean by that if they know what velvet teddy is um so we've got spice here again i will put that next to it just so you can uh see the difference but that's kind of a warmer, reddish toned nude. There, so that's the bottom one again. So this is a new one, we don't use this one. It's called Rosy Rim. It looks like a peachy pink color, so I thought we'd give this one a try and see what it's like. It should be, or it is quite pale, but it should be lovely for spring, let's see. Yep, yeah, that's nice. Again, at the bottom. So we'll give that one a try and if we seem to be using it quite a bit then I will make sure that everyone has one of those in their kit as well. And then we've just got a brick which is a red. So let's swatch that one too. There we go, so obviously brick is just at the bottom there as well. So can't go wrong with that, we always need to have those in our kit for those clients that love a red lip. So there's our little stock up of MAC liners. Let's show you what lipsticks we've got as well. So we do have a Velvet Teddy in here somewhere. This is really nice because this one kind of goes so different on different people as well, depending on your skin tone. Put it against my jacket and you should be able to see. So that's Honey Love. Then we have three more. So we've got Yash. Yash is a beige nude. So it's not as peachy as Honey Love. Oh. Okay, that one's broken. <laughs> Literally just wound that up and there's nothing in there. It's all in the lid. I'm going to have to send that one back. Oh no. <sighs> Literally, it won't even come out of the lid. Oh, I don't want to squash it. Um, okay. That's annoying. Then we've got Capricious. Right, that one's fine. That's kind of more of a berry, but it's a it's a sheer one, so it doesn't go on kind of full colour. It's got more of a sheen to it, and it's a lot more sheer. That's actually quite popular as well. That's been really popular with our winter brides. It's sort of it's sort of that colour, like a winter bridal colour, like a berry tone. And then we've got the fail safe Russian red. So Russian red, you cannot go wrong. So we use brick liner with Russian red. So that is it. I'm just gonna have to sort out that Yash lipstick now. So it's another day and I've just had a beauty bay delivery. So I can't actually remember what I've ordered in um, this delivery, so let's see. I am planning on doing a little bit of a giveaway soon, so I ordered a few bits for that. I can't remember exactly what I ordered. So I suppose this is a little bit of a preview for what's going to be in the giveaway, or part of it. Um, for the Beauty Obsessed, it says, what is this? Um, I think, I don't want to open all of these. I think that is a, um, like one of the liquid, like jelly highlighters though. So we've got that. We use these all the time. They're the liquid crystals, I think. Liquid crystal eyeshadows. This will be in the, um, you can't open it either. Um, it's an eyeshadow face palette. Again, I wonder if I can show you this for a minute. Okay, so here, let's open, oops. That actually looks really nice. We have got Revolution Pro 4K Blush Palette. There's the colours there. And again, it, it says it's the peach one, but I'm not gonna, it's got kind of the little sticky bit there, so I'm not gonna open it, but they are the colours. We have got the Nude 16 Colour Palette 
eye curly palette. Let's see. So this. That looks so nice as well. Like really wearable colours. I can imagine there's someone getting loads of use out of that. So you've got shimmers and mattes in there. So that's another eyeshadow palette. Let's get that back in the box. So I will be adding lots more to this giveaway as well. But this is just part of the order that I made on Beauty Bay. What else? Oh, we love this. So this is the Ordinary Silicone High Adherence Primer. Oh, uh, yeah, the Ordinary, um, what is this? The Daily Set. So this is a skincare set. It's got the, the cleanser, the hyaluronic acid 2%, and the Natural Moisturising Factor plus HA. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so it's just kind of got the, the little juice in there. What sizes are they? They are, doesn't say, yes it does, 230 mils and 150 ml. So the 50 ml is of the cleanser, I am presuming. I don't know whether I got this, I might have got this for my kit just to try. It's the EX1 Cosmetics, which I absolutely love the EX1 Cosmetics um, foundation and concealers. This is the Pure Crushed Minerals Powder. So I'm gonna put that in my kit and give that a try, see how that is. So we've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes, a skincare set, a blusher palette, liquid eyeshadow, a jelly highlighter, and the primer. So that is everything in there. So big box, I'm gonna carry on and do a, another order from, I don't know what else to put in the giveaway. I'm gonna have a look and decide what else to put in there. Um, but yeah, that is it. Give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribing and we will see you next Monday for our next video.